Okay, so here we are with the recap of my bad choice colors. <laughs> There's this one. This one, which I really like this. I like this one, but I think I need a little more definition on it. I love the color green. These are fine, but you really can't see the stamp. This is a lot better, but again, you really can't see the stamp. So if I make better choice colors, <laughs> maybe my stamps, will, my jolly prints will turn out better. All right, this is it for today, and I'll be back again tomorrow, or there'll be another ad a video added to this one. That'll be a day two. Okay, y'all. Today is December the 24th, and yes, it's Christmas Eve day, and I'm trying to hang in there and stay on time. I want to do a star. So I cut a piece of rubber that was right in here. And now I'm going to put on the graph paper because I might have to draw it, erase it, draw it, erase it until I get the way I want it. So um, I just wanted to trace the outside here to see how tall it actually is so I can give myself some leeway. So I'm going to go one square, which is a quarter of an inch past where the rubber is. And so I did one square, not quite one square above and one square below. Let me scooch it up maybe one more square. See, this is why I did it this way. It's because I know I'm really bad with measurements. All right, so that's this. So it's one square above, one square below. It'll give me a buffer, but I will draw the line where the square actually is to see if I get it pretty close. And then we'll do the square. This is the, this is the square here. So I know that my star can only be so large. So I have to stay within these parameters, this line and this line. So the line that goes outside what I'm doing would be, I guess, this one. I need to make it go there. So I need eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's it. All right. So this is the, these are the parameters for the outside of the star. Then pull this one down and this across. So it kind of frames where the star is going to be. I know it sounds weird, doesn't it? I'm sorry. So there's my frame, my parameters, and my rubber actually made eight by eight. Or eight by, wait, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. Ten. Uh, yeah. Alrighty, so um, half of eight. That's one, two, three, four, and it's this line right here is the center line. And then, uh, let's see, what do I have here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I have ten. So let's see if we can do this. So that's uh, line one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. All right, so this is my center right there. And now we're going to play with the ruler. I will fast forward through this and come back to you guys at the end. Okay, so this is what I came up with. So the distance between the top of the star or the tips of any of them is only one square away from where their center is. And then I'm going to try to figure out how to make it dimensional. I know that a lot of people will color in one side or dig out one side and the opposite, but I want to go on Pinterest and see if I can find a star like this to get some guidance on how to carve this. 
Okay, so I found a star on Pinterest, which I cannot show you, but it doesn't just have these here. It has, let me scoot this up, sorry. Well, um, it has points here, so I have to figure out how to do the points in the corners, and then half will be dug out, half will be left solid. That's the plan, but we shall see.
Okay. Um, I like the little tick marks around the star. I was debating in a couple of shots before this whether or not to do that, and I decided I really liked it. I've seen it in so many other people's carvings. I wanted to try it. It was easy to do. It, it'd be a lot easier if my lines were a little more defined about which direction to go, like everything was going up or across, but these were going diagonally. So here's the red and blue, which I kind of like. It's a little dark, but you know, I, I kind of like it. And then let's see what else have we got. This one, which was a total fail. <laughs> it's, there's nothing good about this one. This one, on the other hand, I really like, except for I don't like the fact that there are places that didn't actually come in contact with the paper as much as I rubbed on it. it still didn't work. All right, so there's that fail. This is white on the back. Did I do any others? No, I think that's it. Um, so let's see what else have I got. I, this is it. This is this is it for the the star that I wanted to carve in honor of Christmas Eve. I have no idea what I'm going to carve tomorrow. Maybe on Christmas Day I'll wake up full of ideas. Nah, probably won't. <laughs> Anyway, I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks, everybody, for watching. I really appreciate it. Bye.